I recently purchased an Eagle Tree Guardian system which has capabilities of 2D or 3D modes. Um, I also have a Spectrum DX6i transmitter that I was planning to use with that system. Unfortunately, the Spectrum DX6i only has a two-position flap gyro switch on it. Obviously, with the uh, Eagle Tree Guardian, you have three modes. You have off, 2D, or 3D. Now, there are several videos on YouTube showing how to set up a system, a DX6i system, uh, using two different switches. I did attempt to uh, try using that setup, but I found it quite confusing, especially uh, trying to figure out what mode you should be in while flying the plane. Uh, I didn't like that way it was set up. To me, a more logical way to do this with using two different switches would be to have one switch simply turn the Eagle Tree on or off, and then if you had selected the on position, the flap or gyro switch would then either be in 2D or 3D mode, depending on which way you select that. That way, if you wanted to shut the system off, you just flip one switch and you could be assured that the Eagle Tree is no longer in operation. On the other hand, uh, you could then flip that switch on, you know, if you wanted to uh, uh, engage the Eagle Tree system. I decided there had to be a little better way of setting this up. So what I did, after a lot of playing around, I discovered that a way of doing that so that the gear switch basically turns the Eagle Tree system on or off. And once the Eagle Tree system is on, the flap switch would either be in 2D mode or 3D mode. In order to do this, you first have to go into the flap settings. You want to set up the normal flap setting at 100% or 100% percent up and the landing at 100 percent down. The next step is to go to mix one. For mix one, I selected, first you have to uninhibit mix one, of course, and get uh, mix one active. Um, and then go into the flap and make that flap to flap active. Then that's where it gets a little tricky. You set the down rate at a minus 100%. And you also set the up rate at a minus 100%. I'm using the gear switch as a switch to basically turn the Eagle Tree system on or off. And of course, you have to have, the trim should be inhibited. Basically, what this does then, with the gear switch in mode 1, or in the 1 position, which is basically the switch is towards the operator, that basically allows the Eagle Tree system to be totally disengaged, regardless of the position of the flap switch. Once you put the gear switch in the 0 position, or push the switch away from you, then the flap gyro switch becomes active. In position one, or the down position, you'll have 2D flying, and in the up position, you would have 3D. To my mind, this was a much easier way of remembering what the switches do, especially when you're in the uh, uh, process of actually flying an airplane. Uh, to me, the advantage of that is that if you feel like the Eagle Tree system is not working properly or doing things you don't want it to do, you just have one switch to deactivate, and that's, of course, the gear switch. Again, if you're flying without the Eagle Tree system active and you want to activate it, uh, you simply turn that gear switch on or to the zero position, 
And then depending on whether you have the switch down or up, you'll either have 2D or 3D uh, flying with your uh, Eagle Tree system. I hope this helps you. Uh, to me, it was a much easier way of uh, setting up the Spectrum DX6i to operate the Eagle Tree Guardian system.